So uh, what happened? Oh, we had a saw got caught up in one of our. When there's a breakdown, I will discuss with the operator what the problem is, and I will go in and adjust sensors, find mechanical defects. Springs can become weak. Just moving parts can eventually hit each other. Um, anything from errors or glitches in the program which runs the actual assembly line could be any of these. The main area which assembles these batteries is called the dry room, and this is the area in which I work. The dry room is a very sensitive area, so before I go into the dry room, I have to get dressed in protective clothing. Any hair, dust, moisture is very harmful. The entire process is very automated and comprised of multiple stations, which are used to assemble each tiny aspect of the battery. Everything is constantly moving running 24-7, so a breakdown can easily occur from wear and tear, and operator interference is another source of error. So what I do is I reduce downtime. That's the primary goal. One of the most important skills is troubleshooting. You really have to be able to look at a machine and track down the problem from start to finish. A lot of the systems have robotic arms, which require alignment and adjustment on a regular basis. I basically hook up a joystick controller for the robot and put the machine in manual and use it to control its functions so I can reposition this robot arm and do a variety of tasks.